or afternoon or whatever day it is. <clears throat> I do know it's Sunday and this is the day that I would have woken up every Sunday for the last, I don't know, 10 years and I've taught yoga. So it feels like today is the day that I should try to do this video. I know that there's a ton of videos out there and I'm so grateful to our yoga community for stepping up and making all this content available. <clears throat> it's a little overwhelming for some of us. Um, and I don't really teach that way. I don't really teach um, by demoing. And those of you who have come to my class for years and years, you know that I really don't practice when I teach. I actually watch you and I move with your energy. And so I've been a little hesitant to do this for that reason and also that meant that I had to shower and look presentable to all of you. So I had to get that done. And honestly, on another note, I've been having, you know, just taking some time to process what's going on. So, um, you know, I was just trying to get my family adjusted and myself <clears throat> adjusted to what we're all going through and what the, this is all going to look like for us. So I needed some time to do that. And um, I'm going to try to give you um, a little bit of yoga to help you through this and maybe just take your mind off of what's happening off of your mat for just a little while. Um, my dog is in here. He may need to leave, but um, just letting you know if I step away, that's where I went. Um, but really, I'm gonna try to <clears throat> teach the way I teach, which is to visualize um, what you guys would be doing if I were teaching a class. So I'm not gonna be demoing much. Um, I'm pretty much gonna try to stay here and close my eyes and imagine that I'm in class with you I may get up and try to like talk about hip points or raising your arms, things like that, but don't expect much demoing. So if you're looking for a class that um, you need a lot of instruction, this honestly isn't the class for you. Um, I'm hoping that my students who come to my classes can just simply listen to my cues and listen to my voice and, and like you would in class, just move with your breath. Don't worry about what the poses look like or what anybody else around you is doing especially when you're in your own home, you can really go inside. And I think that um, that's what we're being called to do on the bigger picture is to go within and really ask ourselves, you know, what is, what is it that we are seeking in this lifetime and how are we gonna do that um, and make this life the best life that we could possibly live? So take this time to, to come inside This is the other reason why I didn't want to do this, but I think I can. Yoga people, yoga teachers are people too, I always say. All right, I'm gonna give this my best shot. So find a comfortable seated position. Find a space in your house that is quiet, or maybe your dog won't bother you, but if they do, that's okay. Um, and let your sit bones root into the earth and the crown of the head reach up to the sky. Close your eyes when you're ready. Just begin to follow your breath. So as you breathe, you'll feel that the inhales lift you 
and the exhale to ground you. So feel that nice uplift of energy as you take a deep inhale. And that find that very comforting sensation as you exhale and ground into the earth. Begin to link your inhales and your exhales. And as you link the breath, begin to feel that gentle wave of energy in your body, like the water, like you're literally creating a wave of energy as you inhale, looping at the top all the way through down to the bottom of your exhale. When you are ready, bring your hands to heart center. Take a moment here to set an intention for your practice. So think about what brought you to your mat. What are you seeking in this moment? Let that be your intention. And then bow your head, seal your intention. Open your eyes to your fingertips for grounding and then just release your hands down to the earth your gaze. On the inhale, take your hands high to the sky, gaze up. Exhale that left hand down, take it up and over to the left. So really root that right sit bone into the earth. Spiral your right shoulder blade down towards the earth and extend your arm as far as you can, rooting through that right sit bone to get this nice extension through the body. Just breathe into that space. Inhale, take both hands back up to the sky, gaze up, maybe palms touch. And exhale that right hand down, take it up and over to the right. Root the left sit bone down, spiral your shoulder blade towards the earth and really reach through the fingertips. Nice long breath into the side body. Good. Inhale the hands back up to the sky, we'll take a twist. So take your right hand to the outside of that left knee, the left hand will Rest behind you, sit up nice and tall, big inhale, lift your heart. As you exhale, twist over to the left. Softening as you exhale, again, and lifting as you inhale. One more breath. Keep your right hand where it is, swing your left arm up and over in a diagonal, really reach, reach, reach. And now take that left hand to the outside of your knee, crisscross those elbows, lift your gaze. Big inhale here and exhale, dome the upper back, tuck your chin to chest. Folding forward, breathing into the space behind the heart. One more breath. Good, inhale the hands back up to the sky, reach tall and exhale, fold forward. Sending those fingertips forward, tucking again chin to chest, keeping your spine nice and long. Good, slowly come on up. Walk your hands behind you and just criss the, uh, re reverse the crisscross of your legs, sorry. On the inhale, take your hands high to the sky. Again, twist over to the right, left hand to the outside of the knee, sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, let that right uh, left rib cage come through. Nice, long, deep breaths. Letting those inhales lift you and those exhales soften. And then keep that left hand where it is and swing that right arm, right arm up and over in a diagonal. <clears throat> really root down through that right sit bone. Good, and then take that right hand to the outside of the knee. Lift your chest, big inhale, and exhale, dome the upper back, tuck the chin, bend your elbows. Deep breaths into that space behind the heart. Good, 
Inhale, hands back up to the sky, and exhale, fold forward. Nice long breaths. And then slowly walk your hands up again. Take them behind you. This time, give yourself a nice big stretch. Take the heart up towards the sky. Shoulder blades come together. Lift your chin. Nice breaths into those chest muscles. Maybe we're holding a lot of tension there. Just let your heart open. Good. And then slowly come on up. So we'll roll over our knees or swing your feet behind you for table pose. So I'm not going to do this with you, but go ahead, come to table pose, hands below your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, tops of the feet pressing to the earth. So when you look back, there should be a space between your knees equal to two fists. So making sure you're hip distance apart and your feet are tucked behind your knees, push all 10 toes into the earth. On the inhale, lift your heart, pull the shoulders away from the ears. On the exhale, push into the earth, dome the upper back and tuck the chin. Again, inhale, come through, lift the heart, and exhale, dome. So take this on your own a couple of breaths, really following the whole breath, letting the poses fit within each breath. So inhale deeply, lift your chin at the top of the inhale, and exhale completely, pushing into the earth and tuck the chin as you finish your exhale. So again, take these nice, long, deep breaths, following your own body, your own breath. And then begin to move a little bit more organically. So you can make some hip circles. I like to walk my hands a little bit forward and even come through like a cobra pose and then circle to the other side and around. So we're just making these circles one side to the other, <clears throat> maybe just shifting forward and back, just checking out what's going on in the whole body. When you're done doing that, you'll shift back to child's pose. So hips to heels, chest to thigh, forehead to the earth, walk your fingertips out in front of you. You can let your forearms rest on the earth for this first one. Let your shoulder blades drop off the side of the back and just be in this pose, in this nice little tucked ball <clears throat> with self. Really using this opportunity to connect to self. Use your breath. Fill up the whole back body as you take a deep inhale, you'll feel your whole spine expand. As you exhale, you may feel your sit bones drop a little bit further down to the heels. And nice and softly, take a walk over to the right so you don't have to overextend here. Just reach that left arm out, root down through that left sit bone and breathe into that left side body. So still in child's pose but walking over to the right. Nice long deep breaths here. And when you're ready, come through center and take a walk over to the left. So walk your right arm out. Really root that right sit bone down to the heel. Breathe deeply into that right side body. And then when you're ready, come back through center. And then from here, walk your hands out for puppy pose. So your upper body will be in down dog and the bottom body will be in table pose. So <clears throat> walk your hands out, drop your forehead down to the earth. I'm assuming if you needed a block, you would have brought one here for your practice. But if you don't have one, you need to pause and go get one, feel free to do so. But if the floor is too far away from you, just bend your elbows and take it easy on the shoulders. and then slowly walk your hands back and <clears throat> we'll make your way to downward facing dog. So nice big inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, curl the toes under, lift the hips up and back. And so take this time to bend one knee at a time. Roll over the top of the foot one at a time. Maybe lift one leg up. making little circles. With 
each leg, circle the ankle, wiggle the toes, you guys know what to do. So <clears throat> get yourself nice and comfortable into your first downward facing dog when you're done, kind of moving around. Send the heels back, hollow out the belly, press your hands down and forward and wrap those shoulder blades around so those shoulder blades feel like they're pulling apart. And then lift those sit bones nice and high to the sky. If it's too much for your low back, feel free to bend your knees the entire class but for sure for the first couple down dogs if they're challenging for you. Good. So nice big inhale, shift forward to plank pose, shoulders over wrist, heels over ball mounts. Roll your th inner thighs up towards the sky and squeeze in from the outer edges of the body. So feel as if I'm giving you a hug from the outer edges of your body towards the midline. So contract your quads, <clears throat> your hip points will reach towards your low ribs. Push the earth away for that slight dome of the upper back. And lastly, look slightly forward and pull your hands towards your feet and your feet towards your hands. So your whole body is in this plank pose. It should feel strong and stable like you could be there forever. So finding that balance between the grounding and the lifting, there's a weightless energy. And maybe you can find that in plank pose and hold it for longer than you think you could. So a couple of nice long deep breaths here. And then inhale, shift forward slightly with knees or without, bend your elbows back and lower yourself down to the earth. We'll take Sphinx pose first. So elbows down on the earth, forearms press down and back. Loop your shoulders up, back and down. So pull your heart through the gates of the arms. Engage your low belly, give yourself a little bit of grounding here and lift up. So nice big breath as you lift up out of the pelvis, lift your chin slightly. Good, one more breath. Exhale, lower the forehead down to the earth. Take your hands or your elbows or push yourself back up to plank pose, either through table or straight up to plank and all the way back to downward facing dog. I'm gonna say nice because in my mind, I know my students and I know what they do and that always looks really nice. So nice job. So from downward facing dog here, one more time, inhale, shift forward to plank pose. Exhale, lower yourself down to the earth. Elbows go directly back. Inhale up this time for a little low cobra, so low that you can lift your hands up off the earth an inch. You don't have to, you can try if you'd like. Press your feet down into the earth though if you lift your hands. One more breath. Lower the forehead and hands down to the earth if they were lifted, curl the toes under. Inhale back up to plank pose and exhale back to downward facing dog. Good. Nice big inhale. Exhale, loud sigh. One more time, inhale deeply, and exhale, sigh. Could slowly walk your feet up towards your hands. Once you get there, inhale, lift and lengthen from monkey pose. Hands on your shins, pause there for a sec. So pull the shoulders away from the ears, press all four corners of your feet into the earth. Roll your inner thighs back. You should be making the number seven. Slight gaze forward. So big inhale here, hollow out the belly as you exhale and fold. Try that again. Inhale, lift and lengthen, monkey pose. Weight is forward on the bottom of your feet and exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, lift and lengthen, monkey pose. Exhale, fold. Good, bend your knees deeply, take your hands to your waist, elbows to the sky, slowly roll yourself up to standing and we'll all meet here. So join you now. So here, so align ears, shoulders, hips, ankles, palms face in for traditional Tadasana. Root down into the earth, reach your crown of the head up to the sky. Pull the low belly in and up. Good, bring your hands to heart center one more time. Take a moment here to set an intention or connect to your intention. Go bow your head one more time, seal it in. Open your eyes, see your fingertips for grounding. Release your hands down to the earth, lift your gaze. Turn your palms out, big inhale, take your hands high to the sky, gaze up. Exhale, dive out of your hips and fold. Good, inhale, lift and lengthen, bind monkey pose. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank pose. Good, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way. Big inhale to find your back bend. <clears throat> and exhale, back to downward facing dog. Three deep Ujjayi breaths. So fill up that whole shape with breath. Press your hands down and forward, lift your sit bones high and press those heels back. 
The more you can hollow out the belly, the higher the sit bones will go. And just focus on filling up this shape with your breath. Good. At the end of the exhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, walk, step, or float forward here. Inhale, lengthen for monkey pose. Exhale for fold. Inhale, rise, reach your hands high to the sky, gaze up, and exhale your hands to heart center. So I know some of you like to take back bends, and if you're going to do that, lift your hip points up so that you're not back bending with a big sway in your back. Lift your hip points up. On the inhale, lift your hands high to the sky, maybe take a back bend, and exhale, fold forward. Good. Inhale, lift and lengthen, find monkey pose. Exhale, plant the hands, walk, step, or float back, lowering halfway or all the way on that same exhale. Big inhale, lift your heart. Whole exhale as you take it back to downward facing dog. Three deep ujjayi breaths here. Find your pose and fill up the space with your breath. So if you wanted music, now is the time to turn that on. And I'll include a link to my last playlist here as well for you. Good, at the end of your exhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, walk, step, or float forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen, find monkey. <clears throat> exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach your hands high to the sky, and exhale, hands to heart center again. When you're ready, inhale, take your hands high to the sky. Maybe take a little back bend, maybe go post the arms, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, plant the hands, walk, step, or float back. Lowering halfway or all the way. Big inhale for your back bend. Maybe you're taking it to an up dog at this point. Let your hips be heavy. And in slow motion, exhale from the low belly up and back as you go back to downward facing dog. Three deep ujjayi breaths into your downward facing dog. Be in this shape. Feel the sensations in your body. That stretch behind the heart the lift from the hip points, the stretch of the hamstrings. Just be in this shape. At the end of the exhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, walk, step, or float forward. Inhale, lengthen for monkey, and exhale to fold. Inhale, rise, reach your hands high to the sky, and exhale, hands to heart center. <clears throat> One more. Inhale, take your hands high to the sky, lift your hip points up, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen for monkey. And exhale, plant the hands, walk, step, or float. Moving with your breath, letting the poses fit within the breath as you move through your vinyasa, all the way back to down dog, nice and slow. Again, three deep ujjayi breaths. When you're ready, reach your right leg high to the sky. Big down dog split. So point your toes, press your chest back. Get nice and long from hands to toes. Big inhale here. And now exhale, stack the hip and bend the knee. So go ahead and circle your foot, wiggle your toes. Make circles with your knee if you need. <clears throat> and then slowly square it up again. Big inhale, reach your toes high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose and quietly place your foot between your hands. So take a moment here in this runner's lunge to you know, go forward and back, side to side, bend and straighten that front leg, whatever it is that you need to do to <clears throat> kind of get into those leg lines. So take time here, maybe making little circles with the hip even. So pausing here with your knee, your right knee over your right heel, take your left hand below your shoulder and reach your right hand to the sky for your easy twist. So broaden your collarbones by dropping your right shoulder blade down towards your heart. Feel your heart spin open. Nice big breath here. Exhale that right arm overhead, so pinky towards the earth, thumb to the sky, wrap the shoulder blade around. Get nice and long from the fingertips to the heel. You should feel like you just grew an inch. One more big breath. Exhale that right hand to the inside of the leg and take a walk to the left. So pasarita, toes and heels out. Lift and lengthen in this wide-legged fold and exhale, forward fold. Crown down, hollow out the belly. Walk your hands back. It can really be anywhere here. Contract your quads, which is trying to open up your hamstrings. Good. 
One more long deep breath. When you're ready, inhale, lift and lengthen. Take your left hand below your nose and take your right hand up to the sky. So easy twist here still. Try not to overdo it. The longer your spine is, the easier this will be. And then in your mind's eye, energetically think about dropping that right shoulder blade down towards the spine again and see if you can open up the heart a little bit more. So one more breath. And then exhale that right hand down. We're gonna take transverse lunge to the front of the mat. So your right toes are gonna to point to your upper left corner of the mat and your knee is gonna be in line with those toes. So just really finding this nice long line. Again, I've always told you guys that I don't like to go low. I think my knees don't like it. So you don't have to go low. You can stay supportive with your hands. <clears throat> nice long breath. When you are ready, slowly walk your hands back around that front right foot. Step back for a three-legged plank pose or a full plank, your choice. Inhale here, shift forward. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way. Big inhale for your back bend. Lift your heart, let your hips be heavy. And exhale back for downward facing dog. Three deep ujjayi breaths again. Just be in this shape. <clears throat> when you are ready, reach your left leg high to the sky. Big down dog split. So point those toes high, press your chest back, wrap the shoulder blades around. Big inhale here. And exhale, stack the hip, bend the knee. Make little circles with your ankle, wiggle your toes. And if you need to make circles with your knee, feel free to do so. Good. So now inhale, take the leg back up to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, dome the upper back, quietly place the foot between the hands, <clears throat> and then rock forward and back in this runner's lunge, just getting into your leg line here on the left side. So again, you can bend and straighten that front leg. You could just make little circles with the hips. Rock side forward and back, side to side, whatever. It's working for you in your leg line here. And then when you're ready, take that left knee right up over the left heel, take your right hand below your shoulder and reach your left hand up to the sky. So stacking shoulders again, drop that left shoulder blade down towards the spine to help spiral your heart open. <clears throat> nice long deep breath as you press into the earth, reach a little higher. And exhale, take that left arm overhead. So pinky towards your thumb to the sky, again wrapping that shoulder blade around and stretch from the fingertips to the heel. So growing as long as you possibly can on that side body, like I just, I just stretch you like a rubber band. Nice, one more breath. Lower your hand to the inside of the foot. Take a walk to the right this time for Pasarita. So toes in, heels out. Inhale, lift and lengthen for this wide-legged forward fold. And exhale, fold forward. Hollow out your belly. Take the crown down. Again, anything goes with the hands. You can walk your hands back. Heels with the hands between the toes or maybe hold on to the ankles. Good, one more breath. <clears throat> Inhale, lengthen out here, find this monkey pose, and take your right hand below the, no the nose and the left hand up to the sky for the twist. So take that left shoulder blade down towards your spine. So again, twisting nice and gently. The inhales will lengthen you, which will help your twist. One more breath. Lower that left hand down to the earth. So again, transverse lunge, take your left toes to the upper right corner of your mat and bend into your knee. So get this nice long leg line here. Your hands can be on the earth. You don't need to be bending too deeply into that left knee. Good. When you're ready, slowly walk your hands around that front foot. Step back, three-legged vinyasa or full, vin full vinyasa. Lowering halfway up or all the way on that exhale. That big inhale will lift your heart for your back bend, let your hips be heavy. Slow down the exhale as you take it from the low belly up and back. <clears throat> nice job. From here, slowly walk your hands back towards your feet. Try to take that with as little hand prints as possible. Once you get there, inhale, lift and lengthen. Wrap your peace fingers around those big toes and then <clears throat> exhale, fold. And we'll take that one more time. Inhale, lift and lengthen for monkey pose and pause. So your feet are hip distance apart. As you exhale, I want you to hollow out the belly 
and think in your mind's eye about letting your torso and your thighs, your heart towards your knees, your collarbones towards your toes, and your crown down. The weight is forward in the balance of the feet. If you want a little extra all the way up to your IT band, keeping the weight forward, press your heels down and out, and you'll feel this stretch all the way up to your IT bands. Stay with the breath. If you need to bend the knees, feel free to do so. One more breath here. Inhale, lengthen out, release the hands. Exhale, walk it out to plank pose. Move through a vinyasa or to take it right back to downward facing dog. <clears throat> So now, keeping your hands and your feet or legs as straight as possible, slowly walk your feet up towards your hands. See if you can do that without bending knees or lifting palms, but then feel free to do so when you have to. Once you get there, inhale, lift and lengthen, find monkey pose, and exhale, fold forward. <clears throat> inhale, rise all the way up, palms touch, here I am with you, and exhale, hands to heart center. So we're gonna take a side stretch over to the right. My house is freezing, so my, my socks are on. When you're ready, inhale, take your hands high to the sky, big inhale, exhale, left hand down, take it up and over to the left. Nice big side stretch. So root down through that right foot and spiral your heart open, wrapping that right shoulder blade around. Inhale all the way back up and exhale over to the other side. So again, root down through that uh, left foot, spiral your left shoulder blade around and lift up. Nice big inhale. Exhale completely. Inhale, all the way up, gaze up, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen, find monkey pose, and exhale, <clears throat> step your right foot back. Lower your right knee, I'll do this with you, and lift your, uh, lift your hip points up, sorry. Wrap your shoulder blades around, reach your hands high to the sky, you'll be in low lunge. So keep it a 90-90. So <clears throat> rather than dipping into your low back, just stay right here. And then I love to sort of walk that ladder, like climbing the ropes, like getting out of my pelvis. So reach, reach, reach. Nice long, deep breath. Exhale, hands down to the earth. We'll step back to plank pose. You can move through a three-legged vinyasa, skip it, or go right to downward facing dog. <clears throat> Once you get to down dog, inhale, reach that right leg high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, dome the upper back, and place that right foot between the hands. Lower your back knee this time, and inhale, rise on up for that low lunge. So again, we're gonna lift our hip points up, and maybe you're gonna just sort of walk the tight, this, this rope that you're climbing, get yourself up out of your pelvis. Once you find nice and spacious, wrap your shoulder blades around and reach high to the sky. One more long deep breath. Exhale, hands around that right foot. Swing the left leg up to the sky for a standing split. So the left leg's gonna come up nice and high, good. And then you can also keep it bent if that feels good for your hamstring. It did for me since I'm not warm. And then exhale, lower that left foot next to the right. <clears throat> really nice. Inhale, lift and lengthen, find monkey pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach high to the sky and exhale, hands to heart center. We'll do the left side. Again, inhale, take your hands high to the sky, grow nice and tall. Exhale, dive out of the hips and fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen here, monkey pose. Exhale, step that left foot back, lower the left knee, and inhale, rise for that low lunge. So in this low lunge this time, <clears throat> let's cactus our arms. So take your elbows in, loop the shoulders up, back and down. Big inhale, lift your heart. And exhale, hands down to the earth. Step back to plank pose, three-legged vinyasa. No vinyasa, straight to down dog, your choice. Once you get there, inhale, lift the left leg high to the sky. Exhale, hug knee to nose. Place the foot between the hands and lower the right knee. <clears throat> inhale, rise on up for your low lunge. Good, so again, take your elbows in, cactus those arms, loop the shoulders up, back and down. And big inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, hands down to the earth. This time, swing your right leg to the sky for standing splits. So your left foot is forward and your right leg is high to the sky. Big inhale here. And exhale, lower that right foot next to left. 
Inhale, lift and lengthen, find monkey pose. Exhale, fold forward, big toes touch. You know this is my favorite pose, sit low, reach high, Utkatasana. So <clears throat> with the weight in your heels, find some space in your hip crease, wrap your shoulder blades around and reach high, find a little back bend. Maybe some of you can let those palms touch. Nice long deep breath. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold again. Bend the knees, sit low. Inhale, reach high for Utkatasana. Find a little back bend. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen. This time, plant the hands, walk, step, or float. Skip the vinyasas if you'd like. <clears throat> Once you get to downward facing dog, inhale, reach the right leg high to the sky. <clears throat> Exhale, hug right knee to right tricep and stay there until you empty out the breath. Inhale the right leg back up to the sky. Exhale, right knee to left tricep. Stay there until you empty out the breath. Pause, send that right foot all the way through for fallen triangle, right hand below shoulder, left hand reaches to the sky. So your right foot <clears throat> will be over to the left, your left foot will back, be back behind you, and you'll be reaching high in the sky. Big inhale here, and exhale that left arm overhead. So reach, reach, reach. Good, one more breath. Lower the hand down and swing that right leg all the way up to the sky. And exhale, quietly place that right foot between the hands. Puff up your palms. Enjoy the slow ride up for high lunge. So once you get there, <clears throat> wrap your shoulder blades around again. Make sure your right knee is over your right heel. And then send your right inner thigh back. See if that helps you find a little bit more square um, hips. Make sure your left quad is contracted. Lift the back of the left knee up towards the sky. The back heel is right up over the left palm out. So one more breath here, reaching hands high to the sky. Beautiful, exhale, hands down to the earth. Optional vinyasa or right to downward facing dog. <clears throat> So the other side, when you're ready, inhale, lift the left leg high to the sky. <clears throat> Exhale, hug left knee to left tricep. Stay until you empty out the breath. Inhale, the left leg all the way back up. And exhale, left knee over to that right tricep. Stay until you empty out the breath. And then slide that foot all the way through to the right. Fall in triangle, back foot is flat, left hand below shoulder, right hand reaches to the sky. One more big inhale here. Nice, exhale that arm overhead and reach, reach, reach. One more breath. Lower your right hand to the earth, take the left leg high to the sky. Big inhale here. And exhale, quietly place the foot between your hands. <clears throat> Find your high lunge, puff up the palms and slowly ride on up. Shoulder blades wrap around. Your hips are nice and square. So roll that left upper inner thigh back. Lift the back of the right knee up towards the sky, contract that right quad. You should feel strong and stable here. One more breath. Lower your hands down to the earth, move through a vinyasa or skip it, just go right to downward facing dog. One big inhale here. <clears throat> Exhale completely, lift the heels, bend the knees, walk, step, or float forward. Inhale, lengthen for monkey pose. Exhale to fold, bend the knees deeply, sit low, reach high, ukatasana. And exhale, bring the hands to heart center, come to standing. Good, take your hands to your hips, jump your feet hip distance apart. I know you guys don't like to do that, but we're gonna jump our feet hip distance apart, loop our shoulders up back and down, and exhale, fold forward. This time we'll tuck our palms underneath our feet. Again, I'm not warm, so I'm not gonna do it, but bend your knees deeply to get there. And then keep them bent if you can't straighten the legs, no big deal. Just take this as restorative pose. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. <clears throat> Just be in this space. ready 
slowly release the hands, <clears throat> bring the big toes to touch again. Inhale, lift and lengthen, find monkey pose. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees deeply, sit low, reach high, Utkatasana. Exhale, slice right through the middle, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen out, optional vinyasa, moving through sun B. <clears throat> from here, from your downward facing dog, slide your left foot flat, step it up an inch, and then step your right foot up between the hands. So use your core to lift up to warrior one. So that left foot's gonna be on an angle, slightly out, try to keep your legs in their own lane, just to support your hips. <clears throat> Bend into that right knee, make sure the knee is right up over the heel, and reach your hands high to the sky. So find your down dog, much like the high lunge, roll your upper inner thighs back, see if that helps you get that squareness of the hips. Reach out of your pelvis as you reach up to the sky, maybe palms touch. And exhale, hands down to the earth, optional vinyasa or straight back to down dog. <clears throat> Once you get to downward facing dog, slide that right foot flat, step the left foot up between the hands, and inhale, rise on up for warrior one. So really rooting down through both feet, roll those upper inner thighs back, reach your hands high to the sky, palms touch, maybe gaze up, good. Exhale, hands down to the earth and move through a vinyasa. <clears throat> we will all meet in downward facing dog, except I won't because I'm right here with you, imagining that I'm watching you all flow helping me be here with you. And if you'd like to take child's pose here, feel free. Hips to heels, chest to thigh, <clears throat> forehead down to the earth. Otherwise, stay in your downward facing dog and let this really be a grounding pose, a restorative pose for you. your breath <clears throat> and at the end of your next exhale come back to downward facing dog if you are in child's pose and then we will all slowly make our way up to the front of the mat <clears throat> once you get there inhale lift and lengthen find monkey exhale fold inhale rise come all the way up palms touch and exhale hands to heart center so you're in standing pose now. We're gonna move through some B, one breath per pose. Stay with me or go at your own pace. When you're ready, bend the knees, sit low, reach high, Utkatasana. Exhale, slice right through the middle and fold. <clears throat> Inhale, lengthen for monkey pose. Exhale, plant the hands, walk step or float back. Big inhale for your back bend. Slow exhale as you take it back to downward facing dog. Slide the left foot flat, step the right foot up between the hands. Take that whole inhale to rise for warrior one. And take that whole exhale down through your chaturanga. <clears throat> Big inhale for your back bend. And exhale back to downward facing dog. Slide the right foot flat, step the left foot up between your hands. Inhale, rise on up for warrior one. Big inhale, just get there, slow it down, long breath. Exhale, hands to earth through your chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart. And exhale back to downward facing dog for three deep ujjayi breaths. Nice job. <clears throat> At the end of the exhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, walk step or float forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen, find monkey pose. And exhale, fold. <clears throat> Inhale, bend the knees, sit low, reach high, Utkatasana. And exhale, come to standing hands to heart center. So just step your feet wide from Alasana, toes out, and we'll all sit down. Good, so just finding this standing squat. <clears throat> so let your weight be in your heels, and you're standing up here. So think about taking the heels of the hands between the elbows, sitting those sit bones down, <clears throat> and reaching the crown of the head up. So lift the toes, get a nice stretch in the calves. 
One more long deep breath here. Lower your hands down, lift your seat, and step your left foot to the back of the mat so you'll be in this wide low lunge. Lower your left knee, and this <clears throat> right foot will be on an angle. I like my left hand off the mat, and then wrap my right hand around that thigh. Let that left hip be nice and heavy. Get a nice big stretch here. <clears throat> if you wanted to bend that back knee, make sure you're not on the kneecap at all. Reach back with your right hand. Again, peel your heart open. That right shoulder blade will drop down towards the spine to help you open up your heart. <clears throat> Good, slowly release that foot. If you have it, your right hand will come to the inside and slowly walk your right foot more to the midline and lift and lengthen here for this Ardha Hanuman. You could take your right hand outside that foot. <clears throat> you could hold on to the outside edge of that right foot. Whatever's gonna work for you. You could even crisscross that left hand around to the outer edge. Wherever you're at, energetically drive that right heel down into the earth and send it back. Nice big stretch. Good. Slowly come back up onto that front foot. Walk it out again like you're coming into Malasana here which we are. So hands down, curl the back toes under, step back up from Malasana and sink down. So in this Malasana, we're gonna take a fold. So <clears throat> puff up the palms, tuck your chin, wrap the shoulder blades around and fold forward. Good. And now, Walk your hands back, lift your seat, and step that right foot back. Lower that right knee. So again, your hand can come outside the mat or on the mat. <clears throat> Wrap your left hand around, let the hip be heavy. And you'll sink down. Good, if you wanna bend the knee, take a hold of the foot, feel free to do so. Again, drop that left shoulder blade down towards your spine. And then slowly release that hands come down and we'll straighten out that front leg so heel toe that foot more to the midline hands can be on the inside around that foot you can hold on to the outside of the foot with your left hand or crisscross I know I'm not mirroring you good one more breath and slowly come up onto that front foot. This time we're actually going to step back to plank pose <clears throat> and move through a vinyasa. We'll meet in downward facing dog. From this downward facing dog, walk your hands back towards your feet again. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Find monkey pose when you get there. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, come all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. So. I'm gonna try to marry you. So pour all your weight into that left foot. I think that's right. This is backwards, so maybe I'm not marrying you. So <clears throat> let's just pretend I am. So pour all your weight into the left foot, taking tree, and then take your right knee out to the right knee out to the chest, out to the side. Use your hand to place the foot high up to the inner thigh. Try not to sink down into the hip. Lift up out of it. <clears throat> take your hands to heart center. If you want to take your hands to the sky, maybe gaze up, feel free. Good, and then take your hands to the heart and crisscross your right foot over that left knee and sit back for a hip stretch. Good. When you're ready, inhale, take the knee up towards your chest. And exhale, lower the foot down to the earth and just march it out. <clears throat> so pour all your weight into that right foot. Take your left knee up towards your chest for crane. And then open it up for tree. Place your foot high up to the inner thigh. Hands to heart center. And then maybe hands to the sky. Track your gaze up. Bring your hands back to heart center. 
crisscross and zip back. One more breath. Inhale, take that knee back up to the sky <clears throat> and exhale, take it down to the earth. March it out. Big inhale here. Lift your gaze. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen out. And exhale, walk it out for downward facing dog. <clears throat> nice. From here, inhale, reach that right leg high to the sky. Exhale, hug right knee to right tricep. Stay there until you empty out the breath. Good. Inhale, take that right leg back up. And exhale, right leg over to that left tricep. Stay there until you empty out the breath. One more time. Thread it through when you're done. And take this fallen triangle. Some of you may want to lift that right foot up off the earth. So use your core to scoop it up. Good. Slowly lower the, uh, the left hand down to the earth. Swing the right leg back up to the sky. This time, stack it. The right hip on top of the left. Bend the knee. And if you'd like, you can flip your dog here. So shoulders will be over the wrist. <clears throat> Lift your hip points up, send your tailbone towards the back, the back end of your mat. One more breath. If you wanna come through Vashustasana here, pausing in Vashi before you come to plank, feel free. And then move through a vinyasa. And then lift the left leg high to the sky. Exhale, hug left knee to left tricep. Stay until you empty the breath. Inhale all the way back up. Exhale, left knee to right tricep. Stay until you empty out the breath. Thread it through, slide the back foot flat. Left hand grounds, right hand reaches. Maybe some of you will lift that left leg up off the earth. So scoop up. See if you can get that leg up. It all depends on the angle of the leg. So try a different angle, bringing the leg a little higher. Maybe that will help. <clears throat> and exhale, lower the hands, swing that left leg back up to the sky. And exhale, just lower it in down, uh, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward to plank pose. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, lift your heart. And exhale, back to down dog. Again, inhale, reach the right leg high to the sky. Exhale, hug knee to nose this time and quietly place the foot between the hands without a sound. Slide the back foot flat and open up to warrior two. So front knee is over the, the front heel, tracking over second and third toe. You should be able to see your big toe if you look down. Send your left thigh bone back and root down through that left foot. And then from here, align, you're still in Tadasana. Your shoulders, hips should, should be in a line. Send your left rib cage back a little further and drop your shoulder blades down. So you should feel this nice spaciousness in the front side body as well as the back. Good, one more breath here. And then exhale, reverse it. So really reach back, reach, reach, reach. Keep bending into that front knee. Don't take that bend out. If you wanted a little extra, your left hand could grab your right wrist and pull you back. Good. Inhale, come on up. Lower your forearm to thigh, reach the left hand straight up to the sky and pause. So we're getting ready for a side angle, but before we get there, find your side angle first. So drop that left shoulder blade down towards your spine. I could frame you in between two pieces of glass. So just stay here, find that angle. The only thing that moves now is your left shoulder blade as you bring your arm overhead. So pinky towards earth, thumb towards sky, and maybe your gaze will reach up towards your hand. Try not to let that head sink, lift the ear the right ear, you'll be able to strengthen your neck. Good, one more breath. Inhale, come all the way up. Straighten out that front leg for reverse triangle. So send your hips forward, that right leg is straight. One more breath, being in this side plane. And then inhale, come up and reach, 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 reach. Getting into triangle, lower your right hand to the shin, reach your left hand straight up to the sky. So again, drop that left shoulder blade down so you can spiral your heart open. <clears throat> really root down through that right ball mount of that big toe, right big toe, root down through the back foot. So when you root down through the right ball mount, lift your left rib cage up towards the sky and you'll feel your right sit bone drop underneath you. So one more breath here and exhale, take that left arm overhead again, reaching to the front of the room if you like and maybe gazing to the hand. Inhale the hand back up to the sky, push into the earth, 
rise on up for warrior two, bend into that front knee. Exhale, reverse it, take it back. Inhale, come up, and this time reach, 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 reach. We're coming into Ardha Chandrasana. So reach that right hand all the way out on a diagonal from that pinky edge side of the foot, and then stack that left hip on top of the right, and then reach the left hand straight to the sky. Hi. Good. So really stacking the hips. Embrace the wobble on that right foot. So go side to side, corner to corner. If you wanted to chop it and bend the knee, feel free to do so. If you're bending the knee and holding onto the foot, lift that left hip point up. Send your tailbone long. Good. One more breath here. <clears throat> Release the chop if you have it. And then exhale, low crouching curl at the front of the mat to square up safely. So left knee behind right ankle. Inhale the leg back up to the sky. Exhale the left foot back. Right foot meets it. You can move through vinyasa or just stay where you're at in downward facing dog. Good. All right. From downward facing dog, inhale, lift the left leg high to the sky. Exhale, hug knee to nose. Place the foot between the hands. Slide that back foot flat and windmill yourself open to warrior two. <clears throat> so once you get here again, left knee over second and third toe. Take that knee right over the heel. <clears throat> Press your right foot flat into the earth and send your right thigh bone back. So you're in Tadasana from ear, shoulders, hips, and then send that right rib cage back. So feel that spaciousness in that front side body as well as the back side. Good. Big inhale here, exhale, reverse it. Take that left hand back, keep bending into that left knee. Right hand will grab that right wrist and just give yourself a tug. If you choose, or again, you can just stay without holding on. Inhale, come on up, forearm to thigh. Right hand reaches high to the sky. So again, find your side angle first. Make sure that your shoulders are stacked over one another. The only thing that moves is your right shoulder blade as it comes around, pinky to earth, thumb to sky. <clears throat> and again, maybe you're gonna gaze your hand here. Nice long lines, breathe into that nice long side angle from fingertips to heel. One more long deep breath. Inhale, come all the way up. Straighten out that front leg. Take reverse triangle here. So front leg is left leg is straight. Send your hips forward. Left arm reaches to the back of the mat. Good. And now inhale, come up. Make that deep hip crease for your triangle and reach, 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 reach. Lower your left hand to the shin or earth wherever you can go so that your shoulders stack. So once you get there, drop your right shoulder blade down towards your spine. Move down through that left ball mount. Feel your left um, sit bone tuck under as your right rib cage lifts up. So you're in this nice, again, side plane. Good, one more breath here. And then reach your arm overhead. Give yourself a nice big stretch. Good, inhale the hand back up. Rise all the way back up to warrior two. Exhale, reverse it. Inhale, come up and reach your fingertips out for Ardha Chandrasana. So on a diagonal from the pinky edge side of that left foot, place your hand down, shift the weight into that front foot as you take that right leg up, stack it, stack your hips, and then connect that leg to torso so you feel connected there. Reach your right hand to the sky again, drop that shoulder blade down towards the spine to spin your heart open. <clears throat> Embrace the wobble on the left foot, make a pattern with it. If you wanted to chop it by grabbing the foot, feel free to do so. And then again, uh, lift your right hip point up. Good. One more breath. Release that if you chopped it. And we'll all come to a low crouching curl safely to square up the hips to the front of the mat. So that right knee behind the left heel. Sit nice and low. <clears throat> Inhale the right leg back up to the sky. Exhale, step that. Uh, right foot back, left foot meets it. You can move through vinyasa or skip, or we'll all meet in downward facing dog. From this down dog, we're just gonna <clears throat> move through a couple twists and then open our hips. So inhale, reach the right leg high to the sky. Exhale, hug knee to nose. 
place the foot between the hands and lower your back knee. <clears throat> so from here, inhale, reach your hands high to the sky. Exhale, the right hand to the hip, take it up and over to the right for this nice side stretch. So get a nice side stretch in your low lunge and then take the left elbow to the outside of the knee. Take the palms together, right elbow up towards the sky, drag the heels of the hands between the elbows as you pull your heart forward. And then from here, curl your left toes under, lift the left knee up if you'd like. Maybe look down to make that transition so you'll be in a twisted high lunge. And continue to pull your heart forward, nice long deep breath. <clears throat> Look down, place your hands on either side of that front foot. Step that foot up for pyramid pose. The back foot will meet, will come up to the middle of your mat. Your feet will be hip, uh, about two and a half feet apart, a little uh, hip distance apart, I'm sorry. Inhale, lengthen out, find monkey pose here. And then exhale, hands towards your shin. Take your left rib cage towards your right thigh. And then fold forward. So, Energetically pull in towards the midline, <clears throat> contract your right quad. Good. One more long deep breath. <clears throat> and then from here, take monkey pose one more time. Your left hand will come below your shoulder. So you're staying in this nice long spine. We're twisting open. Right hand will reach high to the sky. So again, keep that nice long spine that we did in that very first wide-legged forward fold. Feeling like you're in monkey pose and just reaching high to the sky. One more breath. Super challenging. Nice. Exhale, lower that right hand down to the earth. Just step the left foot back. You can move through vinyasa or just go right to downward facing dog. <clears throat> so from here, inhale, reach the left leg high to the sky. Exhale, hug knee to nose. Place the foot between the hands and lower your back knee. Reach your hands high to the sky. Left hand comes your hip to your hip. Right arm reaches up and over in a diagonal. I'm not, not on a diagonal. Reaches up and over to the, to the left for a nice side stretch. And then take the elbow to the outside of the knee. Drag the heels of the hands between your elbows. Find this nice low lunge twist <clears throat> to the left. Good. Stay here or curl the back toes under, lift the back knee up, and then give yourself this nice big stretch as you find this high lunge twist. Pull your heart forward, send that right heel back. One more breath. Look down, take your hands around that front foot, step the right foot up for pyramid pose. <clears throat> take a monkey pose as you inhale, take your hands on your shins if you can't reach the earth on the left shin. And then exhale, fold forward, taking that right rib cage over the left thigh. Good, a couple breaths here already feeling the twist in this pose without having to go any deeper in which case you could just stay here but if you wanted to go deeper inhale lengthen out your right hand will come below your shoulder you're staying in this monkey pose as you reach your left hand to the sky <clears throat> again drop that left shoulder blade down towards your spine and see if you can find a twist here with the length in your spine as you inhale softening as you exhale One more long deep breath. Slowly release it. Inhale, lengthen out here. And exhale, step back to plank pose or three-legged vinyasa, full vinyasa, no vinyasa. Your choice, a right to downward facing dog. From this down dog together, we'll take a deep inhale. Exhale, loud sigh. One more time, inhale deeply. And sigh. Good, inhale, shift forward to plank pose. Exhale, lower yourself all the way down to the earth. Take your hands by your hips. 
So palms face up, loop the shoulders up, back and down for Shalabhasana. So take the, keep the back of the hands pressing into the earth for grounding. And inhale, lift chin, chest, shoulders. <clears throat> Exhale, lift feet. So grow long and then up. So think about the length first before you think about going up. So nice long deep breaths to get you there. The length will lift you. The exhales will soften you. Good. One more breath. And exhale, just take a, uh, your uh, cheek to the mat. Come on down. <clears throat> and imagine I came by and just sort of massaged your low back, releasing any tension that there may be there. This time we'll interlace those fingers behind you. So loop those shoulders up, back and down. Big inhale as you pull the heart up, <clears throat> shoulder blades back, and exhale, lift feet. So again, grow long on your inhale. Let the exhale soften you, and then see if you can lift a little higher and longer on your next inhale. A couple more long deep breaths, and exhale, come all the way back down. Take the other cheek to the mat. <clears throat> Again, I'm coming by, giving you a nice little massage on your low back. Okay, from here, bend both knees. We're gonna take a hold of our feet here. So loop the shoulders up, back and down, holding on to your feet for boat pose. Inhale, lift chin, chest, shoulders. Exhale, lift feet, lift your knees. Again, use your inhales to grow long. Use your exhales to soften. Doesn't matter how high up you go, just looking for a stretch to the heart. One more breath, and exhale, lower down to the earth. Good, maybe double uh, stack your hands, take your forehead onto your hands, maybe windshield wipe your feet back and forth. <clears throat> more long deep breaths. And then from here, push your hands into the earth, find your way back to child's pose. So using this child's pose for a spinal lengthener, press your heels, uh, sit bones towards your heels. Stretch your fingertips out. <clears throat> and then lift your chest. Just take a seat behind your feet and swing your feet out in front of you. Hi, so here I am. <laughs> um, all right, so let's take John Yashirsasana. So left foot comes in. I'm not hearing you because I'm, I'm not understanding what's happening with my, my screen here. I gotta watch this to understand what I'm doing. But anyway, left foot <clears throat> comes to the inner right thigh. Reach your hands high to the sky and exhale, fold forward. So that left rib cage will come over your right thigh or towards that right thigh. So again, you could crisscross your hands if you like around your foot. Let's see if I move back, if you can see that. <clears throat> there you go. Good. One more breath. <clears throat> and then let's take this wide genu. So my, I'm in my little guest room here, so not a ton of room, but try to send your right leg out to the right, make it nice and long, strong like a board and then take that right hand to the inside, take your left hand high to the sky. So root down to the left sit bone, nice long deep breath. And then exhale, take that arm overhead. So reach, 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 reach. Should feel pretty awesome, this nice big side stretch. Long side bodies, use that right form and the thigh to open up. Good, one more breath. Inhale, come on up, Baddha Konasana here, the feet come together like a book. Lift your heart and exhale, fold forward. Good, so you can reach your fingertips out if you like. And then slowly walk yourself back in. And now we'll just extend the left leg forward, right leg comes in for Janyu. Reach your hands high to the sky, and then exhale, fold forward. <clears throat> One more breath. Slowly come on up when you're ready. <clears throat> Swing your left leg out to the side. 
press your forearm to the inside, reach your right hand up. So root down through that right sit bone <clears throat> and then take the arm overhead and then reach, reach, reach. Should feel amazing. Good, one more breath. And inhale, come all the way up for Tarasana here. So this wide-legged diamond pose. So take your feet out a little further away from the body, lift your knees, wrap your hands around, <clears throat> fingertips can hold on, your fingers can hold on to your feet. It's kind of funky sometimes on your hips, so you have to get into the right spot for you. You can dome the upper back here and tuck your chin. You keep your low back long. Inhale, come on up, take those arms out. <clears throat> Send your feet forward, fingertips reach forward, and we're slowly gonna come onto our back. So just taking a moment here to do a happy baby and some twists, but if there's any pose that you need to do, like a headstand, or if there's a, a bakasana, some sort of arm balance that you need to do and you're warm now, and now is a good time to do it, or maybe even a full wheel, <clears throat> if you wanted to get one of those in. If you do do a full wheel, come back to a forward fold before you come to Shavasana. But together we'll do some, some twists, final twists. But again, if there's anything you need to do, feel free to do that. On your back, hug your knees into your chest. <clears throat> and then keep a hold of your right knee, extend your left leg along. So hug that right knee in towards, maybe even get it towards your right shoulder if you can. If you wanted, you could take your nose towards your knee, just feeling this nice little ball. <clears throat> and then stretch your right leg to the sky. Hold on to the shin if you'd like. And then if you can, you can take your right piece fingers around the right toe, right hand on that thigh, or I'm sorry, left hand on your thigh, flex the left foot, push that thigh down, and then inhale, take nose towards knee. So getting this nice big long stretch. And then from here, exhale, uh, hug that right knee back in and take it over to the left for a, <clears throat> a twist. So you're, you're on the earth, right knee all the way over and right arm up to the right. So right knee to the left, right arm to the right, looking to the right. One more breath here. And then slowly come back again hugging knees into your chest. Keep a hold of this left knee. Extend your right leg long. Give yourself a big hug. Take nose to knee <clears throat> if you like. And then take those peace fingers around the big toes, the big toe, left big toe, or hold on to the uh, calf, stretching that right leg long. Inhale, lift nose towards knee. So the right hand can be on the right thigh if your fingertips are around the toe. So nose to knee, one big stretch. Exhale, lower the head down, hug the knee back in, and then take the left knee over to the right for your final twist. Take your right arm up to the right, look to the right. Good, and then we'll come on in, hug your knees into your chest. And we'll take a happy baby, your final resting pose. So, uh, before your final resting pose, I'm sorry. So peace fingers around your big toes. I like that best. <clears throat> take my, your knees towards your armpits. You can rock side to side or maybe stretch one leg out at a time. And then hug both knees into your chest again. Maybe draw your nose towards your knees. <clears throat> One last hug. And when you're ready, extend your legs out, your arms out for Shavasana. So feet should be a little wider than hips distance. Palms should be <clears throat> facing up towards the sky. So get yourself nice and comfortable here. Shoulder blades on your back. Get a blanket or put on your socks if you need. Sorry, I'm going to make my house a little warmer next time so I can take my socks off. But at this time, get yourself nice and comfortable. Close your eyes. 
and just soften your body back down into the earth. So feeling this deep connection to the earth <clears throat> as you're rooted down here. And feel that nice uplift of energy as you brought in all that fresh prana, that new energy into your body, that, those vibrations, that electricity. And between that grounding and lifting is this weightless space where you rest. When you find that weightless space, simply let yourself just be. So slowly come back to your breath. Begin to deepen your inhales and your exhales. And by little movements back into the body by wiggling fingers and toes. Stretch your arms overhead. Give yourself a big, huge good morning stretch. <clears throat> And hug your knees back into your chest. Make little circles with your low back. And gently rock over to your right side and pause. Use your right arm as a pillow and take a moment here to create a memory of this feeling. And know that it's available to you anytime throughout the day by simply taking a breath. When you're ready, gently press yourself up to seated, keeping your eyes closed. <clears throat> Hands to heart center. Together, we'll take a deep inhale. Exhale, loud sigh. One more time, inhale deeply. And sigh. Good, letting go of what no longer serves you, holding on to what does. Take a moment to set an intention for the rest of your day, taking your yoga with you. Thank you for sharing your beautiful energy with me. Namaste. Thanks everyone. I will do it again. This was really healing for me too. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know. Give me your feedback. Um, this is how I teach and hopefully um, you as my students are just fine. If, um, you're a new, if you're new to my class and you need some, some help or instruction, please feel free to email me at pam at pamgross.com. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Namaste. Love you.